should have chill ass up. You talk way too much, bro. You talk way too much. Yeah. Gervonta Davis has been arrested after assaulting Errol Spence. The trouble started when Spence told Davis to be quiet during their press conference. Spence was frustrated with how much Davis was talking and didn't want him to speak any further to make matters worse. Spence laughed at Davis in a way that felt disrespectful. This upset Davis so much that he got up from his chair and attacked Spence. Errol Spence is set to face Gervon Davis in their upcoming fight. And during the press conference, things seemed friendly at first. Both fighters appeared to be enjoying themselves smiling and exchanging some light words, but is everything really as calm as it looks well that's up for debate? What we do know for sure is that Davis didn't appreciate some of the things Spence said. During the press conference, Spence made a few comments that clearly rubbed Davis the wrong way. While Spence might have been trying to have fun, Davis didn't take it lightly just before things got heated. Davis was already teasing Spence, saying they could start the fight right then, and there Davis seemed eager, almost daring Spence to make a move before their scheduled match on September 28th. He was full of energy, acting like he couldn't wait for the fight to start. His taunts were aimed at getting Spence riled up, but Spence was trying hard to stay calm. You better with me. Put your fight on. You can be wild on my own. It don't matter to me. <laughs> yeah, you hear it. But you don't fight nobody, bro. Okay. From the looks of it, Spence was doing his best to keep his cool. He didn't want to ruin the big fight they've been preparing for. Even though Davis kept pushing him, Spence held back, probably thinking it wasn't worth it to start something early. But if you looked closely, you could tell Spence was. Struggling to keep that calm, he was ready to jump in and take a swing if things went too far. Now, this is a perfect example of two fighters who just can't wait for their big day. They're so eager to get in the ring that they almost want to fight before the actual match. You can't really blame them. Though fighting is in their blood, and the excitement of the upcoming battle makes it hard for them to hold back, you see Errol Spence said something during the press conference that really made Davis mad. He told everyone that the press conference was a waste of time, because in his mind, he already knows who's going to win the fight. Spence didn't stop there. He took a shot at Davis, saying that all Davis does is talk too much and never knows when to stop. Spence explained that Davis isn't really much of a boxer, he said. Davis doesn't bring anything valuable to the sport, except his hard punches. According to Spence, Davis only relies on his punching power and has no other real skills in the ring. These words hit Davis hard, and it made the tension between the two fighters even worse. This press conference is just a waste of time because I already know who's going to win with someone like Davis, who's always talking and never shuts up. He's ultimately going to come out on top of the noise, but that doesn't mean much in the ring. Davis doesn't provide any real value, especially in boxing, because he relies too heavily on his punching power and nothing else. There's no depth to his game. Davis had his own thoughts about what Spence said. He couldn't understand how Spence could already know who would win the match when it hasn't even happened yet. Davis pointed out that the fight is still on September 28th and no one can be sure of the outcome until then, even though he disagreed with Spence. Davis said he respected his prediction, but he thought Spence was completely wrong. Davis made, made it clear that he believes he will be the real winner. He explained that it doesn't matter what Spence says or predicts because once they step into the ring, the only thing that matters is who fights better and in davis's mind that person is him he showed a lot of confidence saying that he's ready to prove spence wrong how on earth would you know who's going to win the match it hasn't even happened yet not until september 28th but hey i respect your prediction though i believe he's entirely wrong about it whether you make predictions or not the real winner of the fight is still going to be me i'll prove it in the ring it's kind of strange how things have changed between these two fighters, Davis and Spence used to be really good friends, especially when they were just starting their boxing careers back then. Spence was one of Davis's biggest supporters. He often talked about how much potential Davis had and how far he could go in the sport. It wasn't just about being friendly. Spence truly believed in Davis's talent. In fact, before all this recent drama started, Spence would say a lot of positive things about Davis. He praised Davis's skills and even mentioned how proud he was to see him succeed. Their relationship seemed strong with. A lot of respect between them, it's clear that they shared a bond built from years of training and being around each other in the boxing world. Spence used to think very highly of Davis. He didn't just see him as a good boxer, but also as a smart fighter. Spence admired how Davis would set traps for his 
opponents making them fall right into his plans, it wasn't just about hitting hard. Davis knew how to outthink the other guy, and Spence really respected that part of his game. Another thing Spence always pointed out was Davis's incredible power. He believed that Davis could knock out even the toughest hit fighters with just one punch. That kind of power power is rare, and Spence saw it as one of Davis's biggest strengths. On top of that, Spence even said Davis had a great chin, meaning he could take big punches without going down easily. He's incredibly talented, no doubt about it. I mean, super. Good at what he does, one of the best things about him is how smart he is in the ring. He's a master at setting traps, making you think you have the upper hand. And then boom, he flips the script, his power is unreal. You can see that confidence in every punch he throws on top of that. He's got an iron. Chin Spence also mentioned that Davis is one of those fighters who can take a lot of hits without showing any pain. He said that no matter how hard you hit Davis, he just keeps coming back for more. It's like the punches don't bother him at all. But what makes Davis really dangerous is that when he gets the chance he doesn't just hit back he hits back even harder so if you think you can knock him down or make him back off you might be in for a surprise davis can turn the tables quickly and give those punches right back with even more power no matter how hard you hit him he can take it and keep coming he's the kind of fighter who will let you throw your punches but once he sees an opening once he decides to come at you it's over he'll get you every time but what's going on with them now what will happen to Davis after being arrested for assaulting Errol Spence? What do you think about? All of this, please let me know down below.